Yeah, good evening, fellow patriots, and welcome back to Zod's Vision. For the people that are new to the channel, uh, if you like what you hear, please uh, like and subscribe. You know what I mean? And uh, leave your comments below. You know, a lot of people may not understand the reason why, you know, I made this channel. I do have a, a, a different channel for the people that might want to know. It's not on po uh, politics. There's a few videos that I did on politics, but for the most part, it's about pop culture and you know, the way, uh, you know, that, that basically pop culture is a septic tank and people continue to go down that, that that rabbit hole. And also, you know, on other things as far as that, you know, for the people that may not know that I'm an ex-con that changed his life around and just basically, uh, you know, doing something different. I like, I've always liked politics, never really participated in politics due to the fact that I'm not, not only not very savvy on it, but not, uh, really, uh, well-versed in politics, but I got my own views and I choose, uh, you know, a, a life affords us those type of opportunities. So I'm gonna go ahead and say what I want to say. And, and, and let me just get something straight for the people that might come to my channel. And I'm not going to say snowflakes because I don't really, that's, they tend to put that name on a, a certain political parties and I have no political alliance. I may have conservative views on certain things and, uh, and, and see things a certain way, but it's mostly just Zod's vision, how I see things and how uh, I think things should be. And, you know, and of course, I'm just one man. But, you know, this is my this is my take on things that I've seen that I don't see as right. And I think a lot of more uh, African-Americans, Mexicanos, whatever, uh, Hispanics, Latinos, whatever you want to call yourself, should have their own views. You, you were given that right. You were afforded this right by people who have died for this country in order that you, you know, you can choose your political parties and shouldn't be ashamed of what you say. If you like Trump, you support Trump. It, I have nothing against that. I, I'm not a hate monger. If you like the Democrats, you like the Democrats. If you're a libertarian, you like, you're a libertarian. If you're a socialist, even though that's never going to take foot in this country, uh, you, you can be a socialist. If you're just a hippie, it don't matter. The, it, this channel is free for everybody to give their view. You know, be respectful, you know what I mean? But you can state what you need to state if that's something you need to get off your chest. But understandable, uh, understand this, I'm unapologetic about anything I say. So by coming to this channel, understand that I'm unapologetic. And if I do get a certain amount of subscribers, even though I may be able to be monetized, I will still be shut down because YouTube doesn't like uh, people to have uh, aggressive views. And this is not very aggressive. This is really tamed. But anyways, let me just get into what I want to talk about. And that's uh, Maxine Waters. See, Maxine Waters, I've always respected her view as far as not all, all her views, but some of her views and the fact that she was just outspoken and really in your face. And if she didn't like what you were saying, she would tell you about yourself and you couldn't just talk over her because if you tried, she would out talk you. But for us that, you know, have grew up in neighborhoods where, uh, you know, the the black woman has always been uh, basically the seat of power. You know what I mean? Because most males have been on their way. So the woman is always pretty much there to give us that, that foundation. So I always respected that fact about her, that she's a black woman, had a a strong spinal cord and just didn't let nobody say and do what they wanted to her even though some some in some cases she was just a little out of um she spoke out of turn and i, I say that in in the nicest way because i don't want nobody to think uh you know what they'll say uncle tom or whatever and i'm just saying there's some cases that she should have did more listening than she did speaking but i respect uh some of her political views and i respect the fact that she's a strong woman but in this case, when she promises, uh, uh, for the people that may not know, she just put something out there, I think some weeks back, that she said if the Dems were able to take the party, that she would make sure that every black got reparations. For one thing, people have been uh, you know, promising that since uh, the dawn of time, it, well, it feels like that. And they've never been able to do it, you know what I mean? Some people say, oh, well, they gave the Indians this and they gave the Indians that, what, casinos? Still living on the res, they. I mean, they got certain things, but all in all, they. You know, they. At the end of the day, it's like this: reparations were given to welfare. Uh, people don't like to say that, you know what I mean? And I, I hate to sound harsh, but uh, it, it's one of those leg ups. There's no way that they could righteously give, you know, uh, reparations on that level. They would probably give away the whole country, which this country doesn't belong to us anyway. Before anybody, uh, it was the Native Americans. You know what I mean? Uh, so, you know, with that being said, this is not to, you know, step on anybody's feet, but, you know, people have to uh, not be blinded by the fact that these people cannot give what they promise. For her to promise that is like saying that God is going to arrive tomorrow 
and, and take us all to heaven. That's just it's far fetched. You don't know when God's coming, and she don't know when she can get when reparations will be due, if they're even due. A lot of people suffer way back in the days. These are our ancestors. They were entitled to that. We're entitled to nothing. I mean, what what are we entitled to? Like that was them. They suffered these atrocities. So just because I'm their uh, descendant, I should get that money. Like that's. We need to get past those ways of thinking and and, and stop uh, looking for people to hand us anything. We got to go out and get it. That's that's how I say. If you want something, you got to go out and get it. And believe me, I've sat here numerous times feeling bad for myself and wondering why certain things were, uh, uh, you know, coming to me. Even though I wasn't out there doing crime no longer, I still was wondering why uh, it, things are just not readily falling in my lap until I figured out that I had to go out and get it. I had to go out and get a job. I had to be more productive. I had to conduct myself a certain way. You don't have to be what you could say whitewashed or, you know, acting Uncle Tom. That's just for the people that... Uh, are illiterate, you know what I mean? The ones that the ones that are so quick to point out somebody else's flaw, and not even a flaw. They, their character flaw is just a simple fact that their vocabulary is a lot stronger than yours, and you feel some uh, some type of way about it. You feel intimidated by that fact that uh, you know a weak man will always assume that another man is out trying to uh, that's trying to outshine him. It's like a pissing contest. Uh, all it is is this dude is educated and he's trying to go somewhere with it and people hate that fact and it don't matter what race you are if you grew up in a certain certain area and you act a certain way uh, you may feel threatened by these people that want to have more than what they had then it's like if I grew up in poverty I want to be something greater than that or I want uh, my kids to have something greater than what I had so you know once people get past that, uh, we'll be good. You know what I mean? But as far as like reparations, what I was saying with this Maxine Waters, uh, it's it's a ploy. You know, don't believe what the what some of these Democrats say. I'm not saying all the Democrats are you know bad, but a lot of them are just shady. And and, and to be honest, for her to say that she could guarantee us reparations is silly. She can't do that. There was people more powerful than her that uh that couldn't do that, and and they were actually white. You know, which people say white people run the world, which. You know, I I would beg the difference, but then, you know, I would be called Uncle Tom and then people would come on my comments and say all this stupid stuff. Like I said, uh, this is no shot at the Democrats, but uh, you need to get these charlatans out of your out of your party. You know, what I mean, at the end of the day, Kamala Harris is a charlatan. Maxine Waters is not a charlatan, but she's never going to be uh, the, the Speaker of the House again. And there's a lot of people that, you know, it's a simple fact. If you're going to be the Speaker of the House, you're going to have to conduct yourself a certain way. And even though she's a strong black woman, she is she's just too aggressive for them. And they don't want to really deal with that. Now, if she was just working as aggressively as she does speaking for the people, then we would be a lot better off. But even if they were to champion us, there's so much uh, crime and murders in the and like right now, people say that, uh, you know, it's it's this person's fault and this person's fault. But, you know, when we look in the when we look in the so-called ghetto, I mean, we're all killing each other. And that don't matter. You're black, Mexican, whatever. We're all uh, murdering each other. And, and for what? For blocks. You know, what I mean, for blocks that you don't even own. See, but some people are being smart and they're coming up out of that way of thinking. And they've, you know, purchased properties the right way. Uh, they got jobs. They're being more productive in society. And they're no longer looking for uh, government to give them hands. Because at the end of the day, welfare was something you're supposed to get on to get your to get a leg up uh, in life and be able to, you know, give you that little cushion while you search for a job. But a lot of people got so comfortable with receiving uh, welfare that they just chose to, uh, uh, you know, f forego everything and just like, you know what, I'm going to continue to uh, leech off the system as long as I can. And that's no shot at nobody because. You know, they have just as many whites that's on uh, on welfare as there is blacks in every other race, Armenians, whatever. But at the end of the day, it was a stepping stone. It's kind of like, and this is not to be negative, but it's kind of like the dope game. Uh, drugs were put on the street in order for you to kind of come up and then you get out. But a lot of people got lazy and wanted to take the easy way out. So they continue to sell drugs. And now a lot of them are doing multiple years in the feds. A lot of people I know are, are never getting out again. And it's sad because they actually have potential to do something greater than what they were doing. But they got comfortable. They got lazy. And they just felt like this is the easy way to go. Just like welfare. See, 
when they introduce welfare, like I said, it may have had some, it, and some people may have had, uh, you know, a political agenda to keep you hooked, you know what I mean? To always uh, keep a certain uh, demographic of people locked in. So they would always have them, uh, you know, in a, at a weak point, needing, 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 needing. But you, uh, I mean, people can make that argument. They have just as many whites in that same position that uh, certain people consider uh, lower life forms, no matter what race they are. Uh, but... That's besides the point. All I'm saying is like people need to be a little bit more open minded. See, I notice it's been a shift of 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 blacks moving out of the Democratic Party into the Republican Party. And not, not, not so much the Republican Party. Some are independent, but a lot of them are, are starting to migrate to the conservative way of thinking. See, a lot of us don't believe that abortion should be legal. You should be, there's no way, you know what I mean? And that's another video I want to talk about. New York, what is going on with you? Like, it's understandable that you're trying to cater to certain people, but Jesus, like, what what are you doing? You know what I mean? The people coming to full, and they, you know, board babies? Like, come on, man. Like, there's just no excuse for that. You know, when that law was first passed, not even just that law, but the whole Roe Ro versus Wade, like, that was for a certain reason. The chick was a liar, and, and you people fell right into it. But like I said, political agenda, and you're mad that the Republicans and the conservatives don't want you killing babies. It's just, you know what I mean? So... At the end of the day, for the people that support the uh, the Democratical Party, you need to get rid of these charlatans. Not saying Maxine Waters is a charlatan, but she does have an agenda. She wants to be the, the Speaker of House. You know what I mean? She wants to be the House Speaker, but they don't want that. You know what I mean? You need you need to be a little bit more open to the fact that you may never uh, get to that level again. But it's okay. But don't promise the people reparations, something that you can't guarantee, especially as a black woman. There's no you don't have that type of power. And 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 even though you might be a, a poster child for for the race, you will never be on that level to where you could promise us something uh, on that level. Obama couldn't do it himself. And see. And, and I like Obama, but at the end of the day, they had a trade agreement between Africa and us. Well, it was gone. He, he reopened them, them talks, so, which allowed the so-called Anglo-Saxons that people hate so much to go over there and, and continue to do what they do and, and uh, how they say rape the country. You know what I mean? Uh, the people that you didn't want in their pocket are now back in their pocket because of Obama. Thank you. But, uh, you know... Uh, that's on a whole different subject. Like I said, I'm not anti-Obama. I liked Obama. You know what I mean? And I was happy at the simple fact that he that he was the first black president and actually gave, you know, for the kids that, that believe the same tired, uh, tired uh, narrative that, you know, all whites are against us and that you'll never exceed to anything. He proved something different so people like my children can grow up and see that hey if he can if he can get in that office maybe one day i could you know elevate to that level to where maybe i'm not the president but i might be something really high and they're constantly proven in this country all the time you got people in 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 political seats that are of of different ethnicities you got the muslim you got uh you got the blacks you got hispanics you got so People need to get past that way of thinking and just realize that America is America and it got a shady past, but people are constantly trying to move forward without people trying to constantly trying to move backwards. And Maxine Waters, just from me to you, you don't, uh, it, it's, you're a strong black woman and I respect that, but you know, don't use the black vote to try to get you back into a position that people just didn't believe you deserved, uh, outside of the people that, you know, did staunchly supports you uh and kamala heritage like i said uh, harris or the ugandan princess whatever you're, you're trash and you're not for the black people and you need to just be outright about it to be 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 somebody that can just really make a valid point and, and be honest with the people you're not about blacks you're not about nothing that's going to benefit the blacks you're a charlatan uh, you're a dirty cop supporter, a dirty DA supporter, and uh, a dirty lag to... to <laughs> I know, I'm all over the place, but you, you get what I'm trying to say. Don't believe this entire narrative that all, you know, uh, Democrats are in our corner. Because a lot of them, they, they, they've tried for years to expunge these dirt rags. But these guys continue to run the party, and they will continue to run the party. And when... People start to take the, uh, you know, the blinders away from their eyes. You'll start seeing that sometimes it is okay to be a Republican and to be a conservative or, you know, to be, to think about other parties because, uh, 
and all and all that shit. Like I said, all all Dems don't have your, and that's not all Democrats. There's some Democrats that are good people. Right now, I would rather Bernie Sanders have a better chance of going up against Trump than all, any of these trash bags that they're throwing out there. And that's what I want to say before I end this video. A lot of people are so anxious to dethrone Trump that they're using all types of smut tactics, all types of weird stuff. You got the dude getting beat up. like, And I'll go into that in another thing. But you got all these scenarios that, that are so supposedly connected to Trump's office. Like how? Like, you know what I mean? Everybody will make an excuse why something happens. And they'll look for a patsy. And the Democrats are so thirsty right now in order to take that office back that they'll do whatever and say whatever and slander whoever. They might be the ones that mess around and hurt you and then blame it on the Trump supporter because that's the only thing they can do right now. That's the only thing they got outside of, you know, tire rhetoric. And this is, like I said, this is no shot at the Democrats because there's a lot of good Democrats that I know. They're not in a political party, but their views are, uh, you know, they're, they're, they got democratical views at the same time, uh, you know, mingling with that conservative view. They just, you know, they're, they're not on the fence. They chose their political alliance, but... They actually have something righteous to say, but these are not the people making, uh, uh, you know, th these are not the people that actually are shakers and movers. They they can do nothing but either vote and uh, and study. They're not making. Uh, uh, I I ain't gonna even go into that, but basically they they control nothing. But they're still good people, and they uh, yeah, and they're smart and. You know, if we had these type of people, maybe the Democrats would be a lot better off. But stop doing the thirst monger thing and stop doing the hate monger and stop blaming everything, uh, you know, on, on, on Trump's party. Like, you don't have to be a Trump supporter, but you don't have to slander him either. Just let him uh, derail himself if that's what's going to happen. And, and until you find a Democrat that's able to dethrone him and righteously not one of these scumbags that they're trying to throw out here in the mix, he's going to continue to have the party. It's going to be so hard to knock him out of the political office and stop blaming. You, anybody can put on a MAGA hat and go attack somebody. Does that make them? Anybody. People are desperate right now to get him out of party. So, you know, uh, like I said, I have no alliance with nobody, but I just call shit how I see it. And if you don't accept it, that's just your problem. And this is Zod's vision. And for the people that support my channel, no disrespect to none of you. You're entitled to comment in the in below and tell me what you think about it. You know, combat what I said. You know, I, like I said, I'm not well versed in politics. I just call it how I see it. Do my little research and then I put it out there how I see it. Nothing scripted, just how I see it. Numerous Things I could talk about, but there's certain people that I believe charlatans. No shot at Maxine Waters, strong black woman, but this Kamala Harris is trash. And don't be, uh, you know, saying that you guarantee reparations. You can't give us that. You're not in that position to where you even have a chance. Obama was there, but he couldn't even do it. So, you know, just, you know, be straight with the people and stop trying to get the black vote. You know what I mean? It's drastically shifting to the right. So, and that's because of you. So understand that and uh, you enjoy the rest of your night. And on that note, I am Zod's Vision and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Later.